Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back today but with an unusual topic, actually. This is a very serious topic these days in Kali Yuga, especially as it is advancing. Many people are becoming victims of black magic, Kala Jadu, as they say. <laughs> I hope, I wish, and I pray that you have never become a victim to this. But in case you want to know that if God forbid something like this happens to you in your life in future, which I pray never happens, or you know somebody who is suffering currently from this, then what you should do, all right? So now, um, what is black magic basically? Uh, black magic, magic used for wrong purposes. So basically black magic, uh, as they say, jadu, tona and all this. So in a negative context, it means that somebody is trying to uh, make you do things which you don't want to do or which you should not be doing which they want you to do or they just want something from you okay or they want you to harm somebody else or they want you to harm yourself so anything which forces you to do things which you don't want that is black magic uh, now of course i'm not saying here that Anything which you are doing, which you think you should not do, means that uh, somebody is doing black magic. Okay, that's another level of stupidity where anything happens, people say, Oh, no, I want to do this, but I can't do it. I think somebody is doing black magic on me. Okay, so um, you cannot literally, like, there is no statement in uh, the scriptures. Of course, there are some symptoms which I'll mention, but don't take this as a, you know, like, Anything happens, you fall sick, then somebody has done black magic. But don't, don't think like this, because then your life becomes more miserable, actually. Okay. So for doing black magic, uh, actually, <clears throat> uh, they, they need something related to you. They need your name or your address or your home, uh, or they need your hair or your clothes, some, something related to, or even your nails or your saliva, something like this. Okay. So... Uh, therefore, if you are suspicious on somebody who has done black magic on you, so now there are millions, millions and billions of symptoms, okay. But I will tell you uh, some of the symptoms which I had seen uh, from my own eyes actually. Um, and I have also heard my close friends and my close god brothers telling me, you know, it's like uh, what, what I had heard, it's like unimaginable actually. So. Now, uh, one of the symptom is, uh, and uh, please write it down if you have also seen some other symptoms, because my knowledge in this area is limited. So I would love to see your insights, okay? And as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, you can go to my website below. God is there with you and he will protect you from black magic. No worries, okay? So one of the symptoms is you uh, see some unusual uh, insects in your house, okay? Especially you will see scorpions. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen a scorpion in my life. I don't know how they look, but I've heard it's, they look very deadly. So you will see scorpions in uh, roaming in your room or near your place. Okay, Near your place means exactly uh, in, in front of your room or in your floor or something like this. Or if your house is connected to the ground, then they may pop up from the ground also, right? So these are things which people have told me. This is one very important symptom. Another one is you see snakes, okay? So these are all uh, tamasic animals. So the animals are also graded differently. So like, for example, cow is in Satvaguna. Then the tiger or lion is in Rajoguna, okay? And these snakes and all this, they are in Tamoguna, actually. They are in Tamas. So these animals who are in Tamoguna, you will see them, actually. Or some, some unusual kind of insects you will see, which uh, you have never seen in your life or which you know that they don't exist in this area, okay? Um, so, so, or some unusual insects, uh, these uh, fly, flies you will see, okay? So these are things which I've seen uh, or which I've heard that people see all this. Now, of course, when I lived in Chennai, in SRM University, I stayed in a place known as Potheri. Potheri means the land of snakes. But there seeing a snake was something very usual. But if that is not usual for you and you suddenly see not one day, but you are constantly seeing it like two days, three days, 
then that might be an indication that somebody has done black magic on you okay or there are different symptoms you suddenly lose your appetite you go to the doctor and the doctor says you are perfectly fine i don't see any problem but you don't feel like eating or your your mind is not working properly you are not able to um, you are not able to remember things remember means not that you forget your name or something not like alzheimer or dementia but you totally forget something it's like uh, alzheimer or dementia is like you rem you you remember but you can't say the name actually it's like a miscommunication okay but when somebody does black magic it's like you totally forget something you 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 can't even recall that uh, you met somebody it's like uh, what in Alzheimer's or dementia it happens oh yeah I know this person but I, I cannot recall where I met him or what is his name something like this but if you if suddenly now you will not remember you will not realize that you have forgotten someone but suppose uh, some other person tells you hey suddenly how come you not remember this person okay. so then and if everybody tells you hey, you met this person last year you know, now it might ha it might happen that you are not conscious that's different but if it doesn't happen generally that you suddenly forget somebody and then suddenly somebody says you know oh you have forgotten then it is not a good symptom then maybe somebody has done black magic and i said as you lose appetite that is a very big symptom or one of the biggest symptom is your life is good everything is nice but you cannot sleep in the night Okay, now this is not insomnia. Insomnia is like insomnia is a symptom of a terrible, pathetic, disgusting uh, lifestyle. Okay, prolonged time you are not getting sleep. You know you are in stress and you are in depression, anxiety, and all this. That is different. I am talking on that. I am telling suddenly if it happens out of nowhere when your life is nice. Nice means not perfect, but everything is going usual. But then suddenly you don't get sleep in the night. That is a very big symptom. Okay. Yeah, other symptom is you will see something in front of your door or in front of your bathroom or in, in your puja room or something like this. You know, some weird objects you might see. Or this, these same things can apply to some other member of your family also. If you see suddenly their uh, behavior has changed. Change means it's like drastic change. You know, it's like uh, and change for the worse. Okay, not for the good, of course. So if you see that uh, suddenly they have started behaving in ways which they've never behaved in the last 20, 30 years and they are doing things which uh, will make them miserable. All right. So then these things are indications of black magic actually. So again, as I said, basically you cannot keep reading, oh, when black magic happens, you know, ye hota hai, wo hota hai. then, then you'll, it will mess up your life. So one simple way to know is if... Um, if you're if you really feel that you are behaving like you have never behaved before okay or somebody is behaving like that and they can do all sorts of nonsense like you know uh, trying to seduce somebody trying to artificially evoke feelings uh, for you um, yeah these things can also happen I mean for not for you sorry for that person I mean that person tries to evoke your feelings for that person okay these things can happen. There are tantrics who can do all this. So, <clears throat> so, so it's a very complex subject and I don't like to delve into all this crap, but there are people who are suffering from all this. Okay. So, or again, as I said, the worst thing is like uh, in worst to worst case, I've seen people, they eat their own stool. You know, they go to the bathroom and when they are answering to calls of nature, then they start doing that. That's horrendous. But, they lose their uh, sense of uh, intelligence actually okay or they may try to kill themselves or right? these things can be there kill means not violently you know, just suddenly going and from the top of the terrace they'll just suddenly go and jump you know it's like in short very unpredictable behavior okay totally contrary to what the person is or who the person things or what the person identifies with okay the person values something and suddenly the person is no i am not interested when I mean, suddenly may not happen in one day but within uh within a week or so you see you know suddenly what happens this person has stopped or something like this or suddenly a person was very spiritual but he has become very much uh, materially inclined suddenly you know it's like to the other extent like the person has 
person used to be uh, following very high standards of brahmacharya and suddenly this person out of nowhere starts visiting you know prostitutes so th these kind of things are there i have heard that these things happen okay as i said it it's always tending towards the worse okay you will never find uh, somebody has done black magic and you have become better that never happens you become more and more worse actually all right so now the thing is if somebody has done this uh, so you have to understand why this happens uh, because we we are not spiritually elevated to a certain extent that our subtle body can counter these negative influences actually okay so the best thing to do is uh, to have a good lifestyle so don't indulge in doing tamasic things the more you are related to tamas the more these things will affect you so no black magic can even touch a person who is in sattva guna never 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 in the next thousand years it cannot touch but if somebody is in tamo guna then they are more vulnerable to all this okay now if a person is in sattva guna then also it might happen but the person will recover very fast okay so get up early in the morning ditch this late night sleeping 2 p 2 am 3 am i mean these are rahu energies you should not let rahu inside your house if you do that then you will suffer all right then give up eating meat that is very crucial because meat is in rajas and tamas primarily it's in tamas actually so therefore if you are indulging in eating meat then this becomes even more critical actually all right so please 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 stop it completely okay then um, you should eat more of the sattvic foods actually vegetable vegetables and then cow's milk you can take that's very good the vedas recommend to take cow's milk um and uh, you should avoid you, you can take you know ghee or, uh, or these uh, dairy products are really very good they are all in sattva guna actually okay curd or you know whatever and then green vegetables very important very 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 crucial all right and don't indulge too much in these rajasik foods you know it's like you know, all cooked with so many spices not very good once in a while it's okay but not every day and then good sleep yes one hour before sleep read the uh, read the bhagavad gita all right so let's read some verse from the bhagavad gita which is this 3.19 mm -hmm. 3.18 sorry a self realized man has no purpose to fulfill in the discharge of his prescribed duties nor has he any reason not to perform such work nor has he any need to depend on any other living being wow yadi yada acharati srishtas 21st shloka of the third chapter whatever action a great man performs this is a very famous shloka whatever action a great man performs common men follow and whatever standards he sets by exemplary acts all the world pursues all right very interesting so you can read such amazing shlokas before you sleep okay and if you fear in the night then you can uh, put some kirtan or some uh, stotram going on in the background okay in very less audio very 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 less it's it's uh good to purify the ambience uh, before you sleep okay or you can sing the narsimha aarti before you sleep so i always do that whenever i am planning to sleep i always chant the narsimha aarti or you can chant the narayan kavach but narayan kavach is very long okay so this is something you can do and most important do not wear clothes which are not fresh fresh clothes means clothes which you have it's there in your body only one day okay if if i'm wearing this today then tomorrow i cannot wear this tomorrow i have to wash it and wear okay that is very crucial because when you are wearing something in the night it goes into tamoguna actually so that is why next day morning you should immediately take a bath in cold water okay and please wear fresh clothes very 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 crucial the more you are adding tamas into your life the more these energies will impact you okay and you can always chant uh, different mantras you can always chant the vishnu sahasranama you can also chant brahma samhita 
So if you do this in the morning and you uh, sleep early actually, then these energies will not be able to affect you. Even if they hit you, they won't persist. Okay, You will overcome them. And if your life is uh, not in the mood of Satoguna primarily, then you will uh, most likely succumb to all of these. Okay, And uh, you have to understand that this, this has to be a lifestyle change. Okay, So it cannot happen that just you chant a mantra and something vanishes. Okay, Why I'm saying this? Because people think that, oh, just by chanting Vishnu Sahasranam, everything will vanish. No, it doesn't. It will, but if it is backed up with a lifestyle change, okay, which I stress in every video that don't just do some shortcut remedies. It never works. Even if it is mantras, it doesn't work unless you change your lifestyle. Okay. So the symptom of the the evidence or the proof that your spiritual practices are bona fide, authorized, and they are working is that you are doing uh, is that you are uh, becoming a better person day by day. If that is not happening. There's something wrong with your practices, all right? Either you are doing it the wrong way or you are doing it in the wrong quantity or the wrong quality or you are not having the right knowledge, all right? So seek knowledge from a bona fide guru and only then uh, do all these things, okay? Consult your uh, astrologer or your shiksha guru, your diksha guru before doing all this, all right? Or you can take their suggestions also, whatever they say, because they know you better. You may have some physical problem, you may have some mental problem, you may have some intellectual problem, you may have some psychological problem, you may have any problem. So your personal guide is the best person to guide you in this matter, all right? And always uh, you can uh, do mantras in the morning. If you do that, then I'm 100% sure these energies cannot touch you, all right? You can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, you can chant Om Namo Narayanaya. If you chant, then nothing can touch you. Chant in a mala, okay? Don't chant in hands or counter beats. It is not recommended. Okay, thank you very much for your patience. And uh, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. Or if you want a consultation, please go to my website below. Okay, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.